Welcome all you Herp fans, this is David Weimert from HerpaParade.com. Uh, be sure to check it out. I'm also from BloodyPythons.com. Uh, somehow when I did all my video editing, I lost my intro, so I'm doing a new intro. So forgive me for seeing something that's already finished. Hopefully the rest of the video will explain it to you. I'm going to teach you how to build a, um, how I'm going to build my uh, rack system for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 racks. And they're all big enough to the 66 quart uh, tubs for um, most of your boas, uh, berms up to a decent size, and blood pythons, things like that. Um, obviously, you need something that big for a full grown uh, berm, and some of your boas that get excessively big. But this works for the bloods. And um, what I try to cover in my other video are some of the things you're going to need. Uh, let's see, we went to Home Depot, and our total cost from Home Depot was, let's see, it was about a hundred and nine dollars, okay? So hundred nine dollars from Home Depot, and that was for uh, the screws and the wood and things like that that we needed. Uh, let's see, we got two, sh we got uh, two of these one by six by eight, so it's one inch by six inch by eight feet. Uh, white wood that was uh, twenty dollars and seventy six cents and actually we got I'm sorry we got three of them we got uh, birch wood plywood so it's a hard plywood we had gotten and uh, that was we have uh, two sheets of plywood so that was a total of uh, around sixty seven ninety four okay so it wasn't too bad and you can go the cheaper plywood if you want to but I wanted something that looked a little bit better for the finished product. And then you're looking at, um, let's see, the screws, which we got a pound of screws, one and a quarter inch screws for like eight forty-seven. All right, so that's the Home Depot shopping list there. And as you can see, that's the, the plywood. These are the one by six by eights. Uh, I had them pre-cut these down. This is, this is actually two foot by four foot, two foot by four foot, so on and so forth. So you cut your your two sheets into um, two by fours, and that will give you all your shelves for all the tubs that you're building with this, and one for the back to create a back piece. And then your one by six by eights creates, if you get three of them, creates three three legs. All right, so um, no scraps for this at all. And then of course your screws. All right, and then I just recently put casters on the bottom of mine. Uh, it's not on the video, but now I can actually move this around uh, with no issues because it's on casters. And um, so that's the Home Depot list right there. You're going to, uh, let's see, in the tubs. I use these tubs here. These are 66 quart Sterilites. They are huge tubs with the flip lids. Um, so, and the way I built this, you can actually have the lids on them. Oh, there's my boa. I'm resting peacefully inside his new. Uh, rack system, which is still being worked on, but we want to test it out and see how old well it worked. And this is on wheels and everything. So these are we got six of them at sixteen dollars and ninety-seven cents a piece. So we're looking at about one hundred and ten dollars and twenty-two cents. So for approximately, I figured out for like two hundred and twenty-two dollars high end, um, you can you can have everything you need to build the rack, not including the thermostat. Uh, we are actually putting this thermostat on it. Johnson Controls thermostat is what we're going to put on it. And um, the heat tape. And the heat tape will run. It's like 16 feet total of heat tape to come down, over, down, over, down, over, zigzagging in between this one and this one all the way Okay, down. so for the first step, what I did is I made myself a template. Templates make it a lot easier for all your measurements. So what I did is... I measured my wood, which is close to, it's, it's a half inch, it was very shy of a half inch, but um, what I did, I took my a paint stick, and I took that paint stick and I marked a half inch line right here, and then what I did is I marked another one, another line from the edge of the um, paint stick up to seven and three quarters. And the reason I did that is because if I take seven and three quarters minus this half inch, then I'm down to seven and a quarter. And that's very important because that's, I'm going to explain it here in a second. Then I take my piece of wood here, 
and I put my uh, template down on the edge. First thing I do is I mark my first line, which is my half inch. Then I mark my second line. Now I'm doing little tick marks, tick mark, tick mark, slide it over, tick mark, tick mark, slide it over, tick mark, tick mark, connect all three together. Always use three lines, not two, so it prevents any angles or uh, slight curves or anything. Draw my line, draw my line. What this is, is this is the half inch, because the top of my cage, top of my rack. So this is where that piece of wood's gonna sit and screw into. And then from this would be the bottom of the plywood. From there to the top of this piece of plywood, my first line is gonna be seven and a quarter inches in between. That's gonna allow me the seven and a quarter inches I need to put my uh, tub. And then from there I do the same thing. Mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark. And then I am creating each of my slabs where I'm going to screw into. Um, here, 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 and it creates enough. Then you count between one, two, three, four, five, six tubs can go in. And I got all my lines where I'm going to, my plywood will sit. And then I have about two inches at the bottom, which would be the feet of my uh, rack system. And then what I did is I took the other side of my uh, paint stick and I want all my screw holes to be in the general vicinity of one another to create a nice straight line. So I took my paint stick and I put it here, just randomly put it on. I could have gone edge, edge on out, but I decided to put it right here and I marked the length of the um, piece of wood. And then I put center, screw, and then center between that line and that line of screw, center between that line and that line of screw. And now what I'll do is I can go back through with my pencil and line up all my lines so my ends match and I can put a little tick mark right there right there and right there and then the center of that center of that center of that is where I'll drill each of my holes to put my screws through so they'll all line up going down so I'm gonna continue to mark each of these pieces of wood uh, and then I'm gonna come back through with my drill and pre-drill all my holes for my screws see you soon Okay, so I went through uh, with the drill bit and did all my boards. I drilled all my pre-drilled all my holes, and that's just primarily so this wood does not split as I as I drill through into these. So now now it's pretty simple. Now I just gotta have to lay these down like so, lay the board, line up with these two lines I drew, and then screw in three screws. And I'm gonna do the top one, and then I'm gonna do the other side, and then I'll do the top the top to put and then continue up put all six legs on and then I just have to slip my boards down in place and just screw and that will be it okay now the fun part is uh, we had this board laying like this you can't even see that crap um, we had it laying with a floor over on that way so standing up but flipped over that way same thing with that one and then I screwed in here there and there and then put the second board underneath it kind of like um, horseshoe it there, uh, there 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 and so on and so forth right then we flipped it upright so that way there's no pressure on any of the wood so now I'm going to go back over to the other side and I will put three boards three of these across this side once I do that's all the legs and it's two shelves in place the top shelf uh, middle shelf and then all, all six legs in place and then I could slip these other pieces of wood down in, in here and then just screw them in based off of these lines slide them in and just good to go so the assembly is pretty simple uh, it does take two people because I'm only using like half inch uh, plywood three quarter inch is going to be way too heavy but you can do three quarter inch if you want to and you probably have a lot sturdier of a rack as you're building it, but I think this will still be pretty sturdy once we're done. So, okay, so, so here we go. Um, we are not done yet, of course, but we. Um, we're not? No, unfortunately. So we slid each of the dividers in, or each of the shelves in, and then my wife actually got down and looked underneath to check my lines, make sure they were lined up, and then I screwed in each of the screws once all the lines 
that were drawn were lined up all the way down all the way back up so this side is complete now what we did is because the other side we only have this one and this one screwed in nothing else is we have to, and that's enough to support uh, that's enough to support all this until we get it flipped up and back over so what we did though so these shelves don't you know flop only because they're screwed in one side and not the other side so they don't flop on us and break this out um, we put the empty bins in place empty tubs in place so if they drop down they're only going to drop down a quarter inch and they won't they won't break anything so when she gets back from the store we're going to flip this and then finish up the All other right, side so. and we have room to grow uh, it is only one two three four five six bins so our tubs so it's not that high you could theoretically go seven uh, safely probably seven will be up to here okay that's about chin level so it should be good now look at this room check out this mad room there's that much room on the side yet and that's with it all the way over so uh, if I bring it here and then you can also see how much room is my arm fits in there so it will fit bigger tubs and it's a generic size uh, rack but it's amazing and with these tubs here they're on wheels how cool is that plus the lids already on them that's mad whack crazy yo because now it also keeps them in a little bit better um, but you can transport them out and transport them right away and take them out and move them around and it's a half lid look at that so if you don't want to half lid it you can half lid it now I also put a piece of this same wood on the back side so if I flip it in it won't fall out the back bam done spam busters and what I can do is probably take a drill and drill measure a hole put a drill through each one of these like a, a, drill, a drill through each one of these a hole through each one of these and run a dowel down through and it will this is uh, David Warner from Herper Parade. Also, be sure to check out Bloody Pythons. And uh, remember, if we can do it, so can you.